Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Thoughts. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so you are notified of all my new content. Today my Daily Thoughts is on polyamory. So now let's get into my Daily Thoughts. Polyamory. Now in this one, I'm going to give a disclaimer. I am not into polyamory, nor do I endorse it. I am, however, going to tell y'all what it's all about. Polyamory is a type of open or non-monogamous relationship that follows certain guidelines. Polyamory specifically refers to people who have multiple romantic relationships at the same time. It does not mean any type of open relationship that may include more casual sexual partners. There are different types of polyamorous partners. Here are some of them. Primary. A primary partner is a main squeeze in a polyamorous relationship with a hierarchical structure. Secondary. A secondary partner has a more casual relationship than the primary. You might be fully committed to your secondary partner, but your lives are less entwined through elements of finances, or housing. Triad. A triad, also referred to as a thruple, is a relationship between three people. It might look like one person dating two different people or all three dating one another. Quad. A quad is a relationship involving four people. A common example is two polyamorous couples meet and each person begins dating one person from the other couple. Full quad. A full quad consists of four people, each romantically or sexually involved with every other member. Polycule. A polycule is a whole network of people romantically connected. Compersion. Compersion, sometimes called the opposite of jealousy. It's a feeling of joy that a person feels from seeing their partner happy with another person. Metamor. A metamor is your partner's partner. Paramour. A paramour is an outside member of a marriage. Solo polyamorous. Solo polyamory means you're not interested in becoming a part of a couple or any other relationship that includes entanglements such as sharing finances or housing. People practicing polyamory are less prone to jealousy as they remain emotionally connected to their partners. Here are some signs you may be polyamorous. You believe that you have a lot of love to give and that love should be spread out among 
multiple people. You often have feelings for more than one person at a time. You believe that loving one person doesn't diminish the love you have for another person. You have trouble committing. You bristle at the thought of being tied down to one person. You believe that one person cannot meet all your physical and emotional needs and that they shouldn't have to try. You've tried monogamous relationships. You have had open relationships in the past and they were amazing. Polyamory is not a legally protected status like being straight or being gay. You can lose your job for being polyamorous. Courts can use it against you in child custody proceedings. Polyamory is different from polygamy. A polyamorous person might have or might be open to having multiple romantic partners. Polygamy, on the other hand, involves being married to multiple partners. Now, I hope today's daily thoughts in regards to polyamory have been helpful and interesting to you guys please leave your comments down in the comment section and let me know what you thought i have left additional information in the description as always i offer you guys peace and blessings from the west side until tomorrow please follow me on all my other social media and until tomorrow with more daily thoughts i'm out of here peace